and we continue the series where we master some tracks we previously composed in other episodes of the show. This track again I composed in one episode, I arranged and mixed into another episode and finally I'm gonna master the track and of course we're gonna release it on a compilation that's gonna call EDM Sessions, it's gonna be released in May onto our label Progressive Blues Record, well my label really, let's be honest. And yeah, this is the concept of the show. We make music in real time with you. We either compose, arrange, mix, or master music. Take the project that we're making with you guys, putting it on our site, wemakedancemusic.com, uh, with 5,000 other dot templates. Dot templates are amazing, in my opinion. You can get so much knowledge. You can learn how to produce. You can use the channel, just compose your stuff. It's amazing. It's such a like a fast forward like track into making better music. So check it out, guys, if you haven't. Okay, so today we are going to master like a film score kind of ambient track with some break beats. It's very synthy. It's a little bit, I would say, a blend in between uh, Mad Max, you know, which was a bit strange and stuff, and Blade Runner. So it's a bit violent, it's a bit synthy, it's a bit analog, brassy. And there's some breaks and there's some strings and stuff. I think, I think it's an interesting piece and the approach to this mastering is fairly different than dance music. So the first thing I would say, it depends who you compose for. You can have a request. Person, I had some requests before to to give the track to the person who was producing the media, which wasn't like a full-fledged film, but it was still media, completely unmastered. So he wanted the raw to be able to integrate it into his soundtrack and put it the way he wanted and actually master the whole track. That's a scenario. What we're doing today is we're gonna master this track to be released. So this is for the audience. We're not doing it for the movies, we're doing it for the audience. So the audience who want a track that is big, that is comparable in loudness to other material that will come along this compilation. And you know, we wanted like a clean track, like a properly engineered track that would sound good, of course, on any sound system. So let's check it out, guys. It's 98 BPM. Master is, of course, 32 bits, 96 kilohertz and uh, I have a lot of headroom as you can see because this is how I compose this this style of music not not very loud so I'm gonna lower the volume here give myself some headphones juice and then we're gonna get started let's have a listen so it starts quite slowly as you imagine you know of a, of a track like that to build some some moments very analogy synth So yeah, I'm gonna forward a little bit, guys. We're gonna, you're gonna get to hear it. So, and I have this acidy track, some breaks in the background. I'm giving myself a bit more juice. So, don't crank up the volume so fast because you're gonna see through the show. The volume will raise, and I will master it in real time with you guys. I don't touch the output of the audio, so you guys can really appreciate from now until the end. So I'm gonna play you a bit more. I'm gonna bring it to the biggest part right here. So I am at minus 22, you know, I'm really, really far from, from the loudness that we're gonna finish at. I still want to leave some dynamic range, I'm not gonna push it, but I still, you know, as an engineer, you have to think, okay, what is the medium? So if it be on vinyl, it has to fit with the other track. You not have a track that is at minus 22, like uh, loves, and another one that is minus 10 because it won't work. You cannot sit and have an experience. So this is another part of a mastering engineer that some people sometimes don't think about when they just punch the track and they make an album and none of the tracks sound really like the homogenous that they actually bind together. So, and the end of this track is straight up strings and synths building some moments. So first, we're gonna do some gain staging, so we're gonna go as far as we can with this EQ here. So, I think we're... I think we're going as far as we can go with that. Then straight up into a VEQ for a bit of the thickness. Oh no, we're clipping a little bit, that's good. So we won't 
the output of this plugin to be as loud as possible without clipping to send into our mastering chain. So at every in and out, the gain staging has to be the same, which is as loud as possible. So with this process, we're gonna be able to raise the volume a little bit at every step, give some character without really, really completely compressing with one compressor or smashing it or putting like a limiter and doing minus 10. So this is the goal of what we're doing. So phase one, this. Let me see how much more loudness I can get. I have a little bit of a boost at 100. I have the phase that is on that is correcting the phase a little bit which is not, it's extremely minimal. I get a linear EQ for equalization. I would be, I would be tempted to maybe give a little bit of richness. Because let's be honest, we do a lot of sin to right away here. So I'm gonna do that and then, of course I will compress it, maximize it, compress it, maximize it. So. What I'm putting here, I'm exaggerating a little bit. And then with the compression, I will kind of regularize the thing, but it will have a boost. There's some nice drum in the low end that I, I want to capture, so. Oh wow, this is interesting. Um, uh, <laughs> Disk overload on the SSD inside of the computer. Wow, this is this is good. Okay, first plugin that will actually affect the program. I get a L2 Ultra Maximizer with 2 dB of gain. I think for this track I will probably go more like 4.5 because... Let's, let's give it 4. It doesn't attenuate or barely any. Let's have a look. Okay, just a little bit. So we're gonna keep, we're gonna start rising, raising, sorry, the, the program volume now can already hear a bit of difference. I'm gonna give it to 3.5. I don't want too much. 1 dB, 1.5 dB maybe. Hmm, I still get it 3, so I will limit myself to 2.5 dB here. I was thinking I didn't have so much input, but I do, so I'm gonna keep the chain clean. Another plugin that will have a great effect onto the signal, it's uh, Lin, Lin and B, so it's a linear phase multiband, so this does a lot. So this is a setting that is mainly for dance music, but since I have some breaks, since I have some, some beats, it will do the work, so we can here see it here. I will very, very lightly affect the program with it. Just the top width, without. So it's definitely bringing the, the, the track closer to the speaker, closer to your ears. It just gives that, that intensity that you want, really. Then we're going with an API 2500. So what I do mainly with this mastering chain, which will be available, by the way, on our site, wemakedancemusic.com, so is every plugin every time the setting stays pretty much the same but the amount that i apply will change depending on what i do because this chain i use for a long long time and i know what it does to to the track but every time i put a plugin on i'm looking at the effect i'm looking okay how much db of gain do i touch is it acceptable for the program yes okay if not well i modify it I'm gonna go into the main part here. I'm gonna set up the mastering into this main part. This I like and I will probably use a little bit more. Get some top end. So with, without, you can barely hear it. I just wanted to add a bit of air. See how this console 5 dB of gain at 1500 hertz barely does anything. It's so smooth, it's so 
and also have quite a bit of gain in the low end, 1.7 at 50, 50 hertz and... I mean, you can feel it, but you cannot really hear it. This is one thing about this SSL console. It's so, it seems to be so delicate. It has such a small influence on the program, but it does make a difference. That's why this is one of the best consoles in the world, really. The center, I don't want to use it too much on this, so... I think the track is good the way it is, and I don't want to boost the side like this. I don't think it's going to work so well with that. So, I will barely use it. I got Kramer tape here, adding some distortion. A lot of distortion, by the way, guys, because if you let this go... Check this out. So, this is the distortion of the tape. It's tape saturation right here. If I turn it off... Oh, it's going away. So, there's a lot of saturation. There's a lot of uh, noise gain. I mean, it's minimal. We're at minus, you know, 75 dB, but it's still there. And when the program passes through, it just creates those harmonics that are not... You cannot get that in any other way. So this is how most or a lot of music, but process and its sound, it has this, this character. You just cannot do it otherwise with, with like a big tape. So that's why we use it a little bit here. Again, we keep on raising the loudness. More and more around minus 15 now. We got this SSL comp here. Which we will use minimally again. About 2 dB of reduction. I want to hear the end. I still need some loudness in the end, so... So far, sounds amazing, guys. It's not so loud yet, so we're gonna have to... A little bit of something here. So second instance of Linen B here. This I really want to get the output of it to the max. So second instance again hitting the program a little bit, very little without. Well we have some gain obviously so we have 1.4 dB of gain through the, this plugin, so it's all good. And then finally, the Mama, the Big Mama, that I like to call the L316. I think a lot of people don't know how to use this, and they just what they do is they just drop the threshold down. This is the guide of waves. This is how I learn how to use it. So you put two the two level equally, start your program, drop it, and wait, and mostly listen. To see if it affects what you hear, then you're too far. You should have a little bit, but very little. So if you go too far, it sounds like this. It's destroyed the track completely. Oh, sorry guys. So if we want to preserve our program and achieve loudness here, we're gonna definitely gonna do around 6.5 and then this is the result. So this. I think so let's listen to it after it's maximized now let's turn this off this is the air that was adding earlier a bit much now a bit much of this too it's a room for the track to breathe Again, this is a bit much. When we're finalizing, we're refining. You know what? What? What really will be the end result? Oh, I like that. It's trippy. All right, guys. So let's uh, now that we put everything into the track, let's have a bit of a listen. You can see here around minus 10 like the other track that I master if you look at other episodes it's around there this is where I want my average loudness to be not much more sometime maybe a little bit but you know we're yeah it's going up a little bit with the kicks we want dynamics we want like a difference between so you can see it's really flowing it's gonna see in the lower part we'll have lots of room in the bigger part it will it will definitely compress so 
listen. It's dark, it's really atmosphery. I can see some good good images going through that, you know, composing film scores without having a film to compose to. It's a bit strange, you know, but really you can imagine, you know, like some suspense, some parts, you know, and then if you actually have a film to score, you have all those tracks. By the way, if you need a film to score, just get in touch, call me guys here. And we're going to the main part. some strings still have those big big brass there but a bit less present I'm definitely quite loud guys I didn't expect it to go this loud so let's uh, bring it up a little bit here Yeah, I go around minus four, so get like our minus ten average ish. I like this part probably the best of the track so we really get to be super instrumental no drums we still have to bring some emotions though those little choirs very nice the strings strings sound good here very clean going back into the electron parts. Definitely no need for drums there. Let's have a look at our L2. Sorry, I didn't be here sometime we clip. Oh, we clipped a little. Always make sure there's no clipping in the signal, guys. And the utmost important, never put some limiting or compression on your main out when you compose music, guys. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't ask any questions. Just don't do it. And that's going to be it, guys, for episode 85 of the EDM session. If you're still watching, just earn yourself half price on our site wemakedancemusic.com it's also an easter sale right now if you're watching this video go right now we have a sale on bing if not and you're watching that later on then you can use my name mikas my name is mikas hello and you get half price your first order so you put my name m-i-k-a-s in the coupon code box and get half price your first order buy anything you want get half price that's pretty good and until next time be the sounds with you guys
Et voilà